Kids and Gem friends! Has God been speaking to you lately? We have learned that God speaks to us through His creation, through Jesus, and this week we're going to learn how God speaks to us through His Word, the Bible. Say it with me, God's Word changes me. What if I told you, starting tomorrow, Jurel is going to be the king of the country, or Ava is going to be the president? What would you do if you heard that a kid is going to be the next president? That's what happened in today's true story from God's Word in 2 Kings 21 through 23 or 2 Chronicles 33 and 34. You will find that these two references are very similar. The story begins with Manasseh, king of Judah, a place where God's chosen people lived. King Manasseh did not care about the one true God. Like many other kings, Manasseh did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He didn't take care of God's temple, he ended up losing God's word, the scripture, and he even started worshiping false idols. The people chose to worship these fake gods made out of wood or stone instead of the one true creator God. They ignored God and his word and they sinned. I highly recommend that you read this story in the Bible. It says how Manasseh bowed down to starry hosts and built altars for the fake gods. He practiced divination, sought omens, and consulted mediums and spiritists. When I read this, I thought about like horoscopes, Ouija boards, tarot cards, fortune tellers, and superstitions. These are things that some people believe in instead of believing in the one true God. And some of us may even find some of these things entertaining, but be careful of what you see and hear because the enemy can use these things to trick us and tell us lies about God. Now back to the story. When Manasseh died, his son Amon became king, but Amon also disobeyed and ignored God. But when Amon died, his eight-year-old son Josiah became king. Now, even though Josiah was young, he knew it was so important to love and obey God. He wasn't like the other wicked kings of Judah. The Bible says King Josiah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He followed the Lord's ways completely and followed in the footsteps of his ancestor. Guess who Josiah's great, 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 great grandfather was? It was King David. Remember like David and Goliath, David? You know, as I was studying this story, I wondered what made young Josiah want to obey and follow God's word, even though his dad, Amon, and grandfather Manasseh were wicked and they ignored God? You know, the Bible doesn't say, but my prediction is there must have been some believers or followers of God in Josiah's life who taught him about the one true God. Maybe it was his mom or the priest Hilkiah at the time. And I'm sure God was with Josiah too. There are people in my family, you know, who don't believe in God or obey his word, but that didn't stop me from wanting to learn about God and want to know more about him. This is why it is so important for you guys and Hope Kids to tell your friends about Jesus. You have the power to teach someone about God who may have never heard about him. Thinking back on my life when I was younger, I always want, wanted to go to church and learn more because of my friends, because they invited me. So be that godly influencer friend who invites other kids to church to learn more about God. We will continue the story of King Josiah next week. There's so much more to tell you, I can hardly wait. But I want to end with this. You know, when you look in a mirror, what do you see? You see yourself and the mirror helps us to see what we look like. The Bible is like the mirror. It helps you to see what we are really like. The Bible can help you to see that you are one of a kind creation of God. Look in the mirror and see the beautiful eyes that God gave you, the shape of your face, and maybe even a freckle or two. It's easy to look in the mirror and complain about your looks. Like, I don't like my hair, my eyebrows are funny, and my face is too round. But that's not how God looks at you. He sees someone he loves so much. He sees the unique design he has created with a purpose. The Bible also helps us to see our hearts in our soul. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident, we sin. And God sees every single sin. But because of God's great love for you, we can be forgiven of our sins when we trust and believe in Jesus and Him only. So take a look in the mirror and take a look at and read the Bible. What is God telling you?